boys and girls. So today we will learn how to use a string to trace lines and find the length. Before you start, let's prepare your workbook. Okay, so before you start, please check that you have these items. You will need a ruler, a marker or a pen, and a string. So this is my string here. So we are going to use the string to trace the line. So let's take a look at example A. Okay, because it is a curved line, we are not able to measure the length of the line using a ruler. You see, it doesn't fit. So we are going to use a string. So at the beginning, you see where I is. That is the first point, okay? I will start my string at the starting point and using my marker, I make I make a mark here so I know that's where I start so once I've done that I trace the string along the line so I need to make sure that the string doesn't move okay make sure it follows the line closely now it's okay you take a look over here it actually come out it's okay it's fine because I've already measured that part and then I stop at the end. So this is where I know the end is. Okay, so because I'm holding it tight again using a marker, I make a small mark. So you can take a look at my rope. Here I have one black, one black marking and another black marking over here. So I have two ends here. So these are the two points that I need to measure. So, what do I do next? Okay, for you to have a clearer view, Miss Faiza, take a piece of paper. I have my ruler. I put it flat on the ground. And starting at zero, I put my first mark, where I draw my first mark. And I lay it flat until... I see the other mark and I stop it there okay so where I stop you see I stop at 14 you can read it at 14 that means this line is 40 centi 14 centimeters long so the length of IJ is about 14 centimeters long so I write down 14 centimeters long. So that is how you are able to use a string to find the length of this line. Now, let us find the length of line KL. So this time round, again, we find a starting point, okay? So I have my starting point, so with a marker, I mark it so I know that that's my starting point, okay? And I trace the line. Again, I trace, okay? Again, because I've already measured this part, it's okay if it moves out, okay? I just need to continue to trace, okay? We need to press the rope firmly, okay? When we are tracing it. Okay, so that it becomes very accurate. So there are no loose strings around. So again, I'm measuring this. Wow, it's a very, very long rope. And until the end, where K is. So again, I take my marker and I draw a line. Okay, so... I'm able to see my two marks, one at the end here and the other one is over here. So again, using your ruler. Now, let's take a look. Miss Faiza's ruler is 15 centimeter. So I place 
the starting, my first mark at the zero centimeter. And then when I try to measure, this is my ending point. Oh, oh, it is not enough. Okay, so I will need a longer ruler. Or what I'm able to do, okay, using my current ruler, okay, how I'm able to measure, I measure the first 15 centimeter first. So I stop at 15 centimeter. Okay, once I stop, this is where 15 is. And then I bring it forward where 15 was, put it at the zero mark, so 15. And now the, the second mark ends at 12. Okay, so one part is 15 centimeter and the other part is 12 centimeters. It means we need to add them together to find the total length. So we do an addition. So it will be 15 and 12, which gives you 27. Wow. Therefore, the length of line KL is about 27 centimeters. Okay, now the last one for option C, the length of line OP. So again, we have a starting point. Now I can reuse my starting point. You see, it's already marked already. So I start at the same one. Again, I trace it. Okay, when I'm tracing, I need to press it firmly. Firmly down until the end here. So again, I take my, mas my, my marker and I draw it down. Okay, the reason why I use a marker is because it's darker and it's more prominent so I'm able to see it. So again, I've already marked it against a white piece of paper. I put my ruler down. So at my first mark, I put it at zero and I stretch it. Okay, and it stops. So I can see that this line is about 15 centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna write down the length of line OP is about 15 centimeters. Now you can try this on your own. Now let's say you do not have any strings at home, don't worry about it. You can follow my video here and then we will let you try when you are back in school. Now, if your measurements are about 1 cm more or less, okay, don't worry because if you take a look at your workbook, they always say the length of line IJ, for example, is about. Okay, so our measurements can vary from 1 cm. So it's okay if you get 14 cm instead of 13 cm or 15 cm instead of 14 cm.